Um, my name is Patrick Carroll, and I'm the executive director of the Franciscan Action Network. And we are an organization that is a social justice arm of all of the Franciscan families. And we're here at the uh, Fast for Families. We've been here since the beginning. This is our uh, 28th day of fasting, and um, it's a fast for immigration rights. We're fasting to open up hearts of people like John Boehner so that they will support immigration reform. We're going to be fasting, people are going to be fasting and praying until um, immigration reform happens. I'm Sister Marie Lucy, I'm a Franciscan sister, and I'm on staff with uh, Franciscan Action Network. And I'm director of advocacy, so I've been doing a lot of uh, visits <laughs> to congressional offices with others, you know, um, urging immigration we, reform. Over here? So when this fast was announced, uh, which began on November 12th, as Patrick said, we decided that as Franciscans, we really wanted to have a presence in this tent. So we've had somebody in the tent every day uh, since November 12th. So the idea to do to do a fast now. What you're sure. you're fasting for justice for immigrants for That's immigrant right. rights. For, for Is there something in particular? Reform. Yeah. For comprehensive immigration reform. That's right. That's yeah. right. And a number of the people who are fasting are immigrants themselves. Uh -huh. And so when they come into the fasting tent and we're sharing each other's stories. Many of them have such painful stories, stories of family separation, story of suffering. And um, so it, this has also been encouragement for them to have people joining them in um, urging that our country. So so tell me about this. So you've got this fast for families and this uh, the tent. Um, what's... Uh, Tell me about how this came to be. Well, it, it's really a, a coalition of uh, some labor organizations and immigrant rights groups and faith organizations coming together. And so the tent has been here, as I said, since November 12th. So there's a, a tent where the fasters are. And then there's another tent where the staff and media gather, because there's been a good bit of uh, media here. A um, number of visitors, including the president and first lady, they were here. A number of uh, congressional people have been here. So I've been involved for many years in justice activities. And now working with Franciscan Action Network, one of the issues that um, I address, there are others too, but is immigration reform. So I think this was very important. It's a kind of moving it deeper. That that's the idea. Like we do the advocacy, we do the legislation, but to try to move that uh, deeper into ourselves, you know, and call forth, uh, you know, our own spiritual resources sure. to play in this, and to be in solidarity with these people that are suffering so much you know, from our immigration. Law. So, so do. During the, the time you've been here, mm -hmm. um, what's what's happened? Well, um, every day, there's, <laughs> you're never too sure. Every day, the fasters uh, gather in the morning, and um, they get the cut of the schedule for the day. And there are different, like some days, there are several different um, reporters here. The media has been here. As I said, a number of visitors have come in, and they meet with the, the fasters. So every day is a little different. You're never too sure. Uh, yeah, you know what's what's going to happen. So, what kind of response you're doing this year on the Mall in front of the Capitol? And you said one of the things you've been doing is visiting members of Congress. Right. What kind of response are you getting from them? Well, as you know, the, the Senate passed a comprehensive bill in June. Uh, the House still has not acted on it, so we really focus especially on members of the House, um, you know, to, to urge them uh, to please. And a special focus on Speaker Boehner, because he's not bringing a uh, vote forward. Um, we feel that if he would really bring the vote to the floor of the House, that there would be enough votes to pass um, the immigration reform, but that's not happening. So 
So, so then, of course, there's Mr. Ryan, who uh, is the uh, is this major spokesperson too, and uh, it is also a member of your faith. Um, is that having any? Well, so is John Boehner. Any weight with you? I didn't realize that. No. Yes, yeah, he's also a Catholic, and we do when we visit the offices, say for us, of, yeah, of sure. uh, members of Congress who are Catholics, we talk about uh, Catholic social teaching, how deep this is in our um, in our faith and Catholic social teaching, and what they tell us is they want to pay us immigration reform. Um, they don't want to accept the Senate bill. They want to bring forward uh, pieces, not comprehensive. But but nothing is happening yet. So we'll see. Maybe this will be what we'll bring. Them. So so do you ever have the opportunity to do one of those good old-fashioned Catholic things of shaming them a bit? <laughs> well, I mean we're always very respectful. Let me say that. I mean we're firm. You know, we bring that up sure. and we do talk about. You know our our faith, and and actually, perhaps having this fast, and they're very much aware of what's happening. You know, down here, that perhaps that would shame them a bit, but it's it's complicated. The politics. No, yeah. In the fact, president. Uh, last week, when the three core fasters, we called them the core fasters, the one who where they had fasted for 22 days. And um, they really needed uh, medically. There, there's always a medical person in the tent checking everybody, the long-term fasters, every day. And the decision was made they really needed to end their fast. So there was a wonderful event here in the tent when they turned over their fast to others who were going to, you know, pick it up, uh, you know, for, for quite a while. And in fact, one of those who was there to, to pick up and do some fasting was Representative uh, Kennedy, Joe Kennedy. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. But there were a number of people of Congress here on that day. Uh -huh. So, you know, fasting is, is something that's part of our tradition forever, um, you know, from Isaiah and uh, exactly. and the prophets exactly. Jeremiah yeah. Yeah. and uh, and then of course John the Baptist and Jesus fasting. Right. Exactly. Um, you know, you have a picture here of Cesar Chavez, right. who uh, who really became made put fasting back on the map, uh -huh. if you will. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Eliseo Medina, who was the, the the chief person really of the poor fasters, he was, and he was with Chavez. He accompanied Chavez, you know, and uh, was his kind of right hand man for I guess you would say uh, for a while. Uh, it's been he's been wonderful. Just wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I really think it's wonderful that people are doing what they can, wherever they can. I mean, we keep knocking on the doors here in Congress, but it, it, it's wonderful when citizens are doing what they can, you know, to uh, to assist and encourage and help these uh, immigrants. I mean, it, it, we're so conscious that we all are immigrants, you know, um, in this country. Like my grandparents were immigrants, and many of us. They're you know, parents, grandparents, etc., and um, that we all came here from somewhere else. You know, well, with really. a few exceptions, except for the American yes, Indians yes, at yes. the museum, right, up, right across the way. So I think we become more conscious of that, you know, and. Um, so, like, we know that a country has to protect its borders. That's that's not a question. I mean, we don't question that. But um, but our laws right now are so um, anti-immigrant, and uh, you know, just keep people. It's it's really, and it causes untold suffering. And as probably your people at, at home that are working for the driver's licenses know that most of these immigrants are here. They're good people, hardworking people. They want to be, they're aspiring Americans, as we say. They want to contribute to the country. So I certainly applaud whatever's happening back in Massachusetts. Yeah. So this, but your tent is closing down? Yes. Um, it was from November 12th to December 12th. So on December 12th, there is going to be a grand uh, kind of closing uh, 
almost celebration, I would say, you know, what's been happening here. And then the tent will come down, but the work will not be finished. We will continue the work, uh -huh. but the tent will come down. Yeah.